Automobile accidents are the number one cause of death among teenagers in the United States. About 15 deaths occur every day as a result of a teen driving accident. Doug Herbert, a professional drag racer, lost his two sons in a reckless driving accident in 2008. After that incident, Herbert started the Brakes program in order to teach teenagers safe driving techniques and hopefully prevent future accidents. Brakes stands for Be Responsible and Keep Everyone Safe. The purpose of the program is to raise awareness about safe driving among teens, and it focuses on teaching new drivers how to react in panic situations that are the primary cause of car accidents. This year, the Mannheim Lions Club brought brakes to the Mannheim community. The program included the Accident Avoidance Course, the Panic Stop, the Wet Skid Recovery, and the Distraction Course. For the first hour of the program, a brakes instructor teaches the students and their parents specifics about brakes. The instructor talks about proper seat and hand positioning when driving, the correct amount of pedal input, eye scanning techniques, and other practices that drivers should employ in order to be safer and more aware while on the road. After learning the correct techniques to use while driving, the teens go with one of the professionally trained instructors for the next three hours to put those skills into practice. Each instructor is paired with about three students, so there is a lot of one-on-one -on -one instruction while in the actual vehicle. The Accident Avoidance Course teaches teens to dodge an obstacle without losing control of their vehicle. The student drives at a moderate speed down a straight lane, and as they near the end of the path, the instructor will yell left or right, forcing the driver to make a snap decision and turn the car sharply either left or right around the cones. This course is meant to simulate a situation in which an animal or a young child would jump out in front of a car, surprising the driver and causing them to swerve in order to avoid hitting whatever was in their way. In the Panic Stop course, students learn to properly brake within the shortest amount of time and distance possible while still controlling the vehicle. The instructor has the teen accelerate to about 35 to 40 miles per hour down a short stretch of road, and when they get to a sign that says brake now, their goal is to stop their car before they reach the stop sign that comes shortly after. It wasn't too difficult, it was just like, you have to get into the fact like, you can brake really hard and you don't have to worry about the person in the, in the passenger seat. This course also teaches teens the capabilities of the ABS, or anti-lock braking system. They realize how quickly they are able to brake without spinning out or skidding. The Wet Skid Recovery is an area of road covered in water. It is meant to simulate a road that is wet due to rain, snow, or other severe weather conditions. Each driver accelerates towards the wet ground and must steer through the turn without braking at all. Through this, students learn how to navigate a turn on wet road without under or over steering. A lot of people can get away with texting or talking on the phone and driving. A lot of people get away with drinking and driving. And they may not get caught the first time they drink and drive, they probably won't. They may not get caught the 300th, they may not get caught the 3,000th. But the 3,001st, they kill five people. Okay, so it's the same thing with texting and driving. During the distraction course, the driving instructor distracts the driver in ways that passengers will often distract a teenager, by turning on the radio, yelling, turning on the windshield wipers, or putting the car in neutral. While being distracted by the instructor, the teen must drive through a course without hitting any of the cones. The first time he didn't distract me at all, so I went through it fine. The first time he distracted me, though, it caught me off guard, so I hit a few cones. If you're actually trying to do something, it makes you worse of a driver, because you're distracted. The point is, you can't do two things at once. You can stop driving, and then you can start adjusting the radio. You can't do two things at once. The students that participate in breaks have the opportunity to drive through each of the courses several times with a qualified instructor, experiencing hands-on driving training that they won't learn anywhere else. It's definitely a positive impact for not just the parents, but the teens, um, the communities, wherever, you know, whatever city or state that we're in. It's teaching kids how to drive safely and responsibly, and it's teaching them defensive driving techniques. Abby Weaver, reporting for MC Today.